chosen ones. It's G. Wells, Whittle, and them are you. Which are the chosen ones? And I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. All right, this the last one for the night. I thought I'd finish off the night. You know, it's Saturday. Let, I thought I'd let my hair down and talk my shit a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, let's get to it. All right? So, peep this chosen ones. Peep this shit here, dog. Y'all tried to warn these niggas. Y'all tried to warn them. Y'all tried to save their soul. Y'all tried to tell them that if they keep going down the path they're going on, that it will be consequences. Y'all tried to warn them, but they kept trying to play with you. They kept trying to play with you like you just some nobody ass individual. Like you don't have the most high behind you. Like you don't have the most high guide in your every step. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have that power within you. So they tried to play with you because they never had nobody like you. They never seen anyone like you. They never dealt with anyone like you. So they thought they can run the same games they ran on everybody else they met with you. But these niggas know now. They know now. They know now. See, some of y'all was in relationships with folks that didn't mean you no good that had bad intentions for you from the jump. They whole plot and scheme was to try to destroy you, try to knock you off your path, discourage you from what God has called you to. That's why they ain't never support you. When you came to them with your, with your ideas and all that, all they gave you was some, oh, okay, oh, yeah. Uh, they, didn't really, they didn't want you to do well. But they wanted everybody else they knew to succeed. They always showed support to everybody else they knew. But they didn't show support to you. They was all cool and nice to everybody else but you. And you was in a relationship with them. And what they do? They left you. Thinking that they was going to get something better. Thinking that they was going to find another you and somebody else. Thinking that you can be replaced. But the niggas know now. Because you required too much. You have a high standard. And they knew they couldn't meet that standard. Because you hold yourself to high standards and high honor. So who anybody that's going to be with you has to be at that same standard. And they left and went to a situation that was more easy for them. They, 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 they went on to a situation with people and individuals that don't have any standards, that accept anything from their ass, that allow them to do anything and say anything. See, you was too hard because you got standards. And you wasn't finna come down to their level, so they had to rise up. They had to come up to your level. They didn't want to do that because they're, then they would have had to do that in the work. Then they would have had to improve themselves. Then they had would have had to deal with their childhood traumas from their mamas and their daddies. But niggas know now. Niggas know now, dog. Niggas know now. You the one. You the one. They went on to situations that was easier, but less rewarding. And I'm going to tell you another thing they did. They didn't give you closure. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't give you, they just left. They didn't give you closure. It's not because you didn't matter. It's not because you was insignificant. This was because these motherfuckers wanted to, they, they wanted to keep that door open so they can come back if shit don't work out on the other end. But what they don't realize, they fucking with a chosen one. God didn't close that door. You ain't got to give that. You ain't got to give me no closure. I'm going to close the door on your ass when you leave. You ain't coming back here, though. You ain't coming back here. 
And that's what y'all did. Y'all closed the doors on these suckers. Thinking they gonna run back. You can't come back over here, shorty. You been fucking lames. I could never hit you. I could never rock with you again. I don't, I, listen, ain't no doubling back. Ain't no second time around. Ain't none of that, dog. This a one time, this a one time opportunity of a lifetime. You better take advantage of the opportunity in the lifetime of the opportunity in the moment of the opportunity in the second of the opportunity. But they didn't give you closure. And I'm going to give some of y'all closure right now. They didn't give you closure because they always planned on coming back. But you don't need them to give you closure. You can give yourself that closure and just close the fucking door on their dirty ass. And keep moving forward. Keep going on your path. Keep going on your purpose. Getting out that little bitty ass bag and getting in your purpose. Leveling up. People will discard you, will abandon you because you, 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 you require too much. People that are beneath you will, 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 will try to demean you, try to, try to tear you down because you require too much. And the reason they're trying to tear you down is because they need you to be more accepting of their bullshit. So how they do that? Well, if I bring this motherfucker down to my level, he will be a more accepting. She will be a more accepting to my bullshit. No, 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 no. We don't do that. I'm not going back to level 10 if I hadn't already passed that motherfucker and I'm on level 50. It's a blessing for you to be in my presence. Why would I come back to level 10? I was like at level 10 back when I was 15 years old. You a grown ass adult still on level 10 in life. But I'm telling you chosen ones, you know, it's Saturday. I just had to talk my shit a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen. Late night special. Well, ain't late night, but y'all get what I'm saying. Hey, Saturday night special in this motherfucker. We gonna talk some shit. Grown folks only in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But these people, these niggas know now. They're going to come back. They're going to try to try to smooth talk their way back in. They're going to try to tiptoe their ass back on in. And I want you to slam that motherfucking door in their face. Because everything they did was intentional. Because they thought what they did to you was going to break you. But the shit just made you. Made you a colder motherfucker. And when I say cold, I ain't talking about like cold hearted. I'm just saying like you you a cold motherfucker. Like you, you like where I'm from in Detroit, nigga, you sweet. Nigga, you sweet. Nigga, like yo shit sweet. Like you, 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 you just that motherfucker. You cold, dog. You cold with the moves. It ain't a damn demon that stopped you yet. Ain't a demon you ain't overcame yet. It ain't a circumstance or situation that stopped you. Not no ragless dude or no ragless bra stopped you. That's for my men and women, whoever listening to this. None of these ragless dudes stopped you for my ladies, and none of these ragless bras stopped you for my dudes. Y'all still fighting. Y'all still going. Yeah, I know y'all got the little pain. That shit gonna come up. I'm in that shit with y'all. That other shit gonna come up. But that shit ain't about nothing. Keep going. When you feeling that pain, when you feeling that hurt, this is what you do. You hop, whatever it is you do, your purpose, whatever it is. When you feeling that pain, that's your fuel. That's, your, that's a signal to like, oh shit, time to get on your purpose. Time for you to invest some time into your purpose. Take that hurt and make it into some, some, something positive. When you start feeling that, you getting the memories and that pain, jump in your motherfucking purpose. If you make music, hop in that motherfucking studio, drop some heat. You doing this YouTube shit like me? Get on that shit. Start doing it. You an artist. Get it? Start drawing, dog. 
Let that pain push you to another level. Let that pain cause you to become a millionaire, dog. Why these suck-ass niggas out here playing and shit? Let them, let them keep that. Your closure is your success. Your closure is your elevation. Your closure is your growth. Your closure is your abundance. You've been given all the tools you needed. You need to go to the next level. You've been given, God entrusted you with this pain for you to transmute it into something positive that will help others. That's how you got to look at it. But people counted you out before you even got in the race, before the race even started, before the race even started, they counted you out. But they don't know no better. Because they don't, they don't believe in themselves. They codependent. That's why they always jumping from relationship to relationship. They so toxic. They so fucking discombobulated in the mind. Can't even think straight. Can't even lie straight at that. Nigga be catching them in lies all the time. And you don't say that. You just be like, in my head be like, damn, you just crazy as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? But guess what? People like that are a threat to themselves. They're not a threat to anyone, but to themselves. Because everything they put out there is going to come back. I don't understand why people don't understand this shit. Damn. You can't just go do anything you want to do because don't nobody see it. God is all knowing and all seeing. Everything you do will come back on you. How do people not understand this shit in 2023? You got motherfuckers that can sell coochie online. You got motherfuckers that make porno video. You can, you can sell any damn thing online. But motherfuckers can't understand that what you put out, you get back. They can send motherfuckers to space for fun now. But motherfuckers can't fathom the idea or the fact that you reap what you sow. That's why everybody's so fucked up. Going around fucking each other. And, man, listen, I ain't gonna lie. God just revealed this stuff to me like the dating world. Oh my God, this shit is sickening. Man, I wouldn't jump out in that shit if I, listen, if I was in a rubber suit. These old STD infested Flea infested motherfuckers out here, dog. This shit wicked as hell. Chosen one. Stay to yourselves. <laughs> Yo, it is crazy. But people don't understand this. And then be wondering why shit going wrong in their life. Why, why shit don't work out for them. It don't work out because you, you. You're dead. You, you want, you're bankrupt. You, going, you went bankrupt. Karmic debt. And then you fucking with a chosen one. Ooh, God. And that don't make it no better. Like, come on. I, all these, listen, let me, I'm going to put it like this. You got all these people not doing the will of God, right? But then you have the very few that are doing the will of God. And then the masses that are not doing the will of God think they're going to come over and fuck with the chosen ones that 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 is, that is doing the will of God and think they're not going to be punished? Don't think shit is not going to uh, occur to them? Don't think nothing's going to happen? They just going to get off sky. Oh, I can just fuck with... Bruh, you fuck with me, you fucking with God, dog. I'm not on my own. I'm not doing this shit out of my own might. 
my own strength. My footsteps are ordered. You hear me? Every step I take, I represent them. Everywhere I go. I do what I want because I do what the Most High say. And when the Most High say I can do something, I can do it. And I don't need no permission. I don't need no advice. I don't need to ask nobody for nothing. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Niggas know now, though. Niggas know now. This is my little Saturday rant. <laughs> uh, listen, chosen ones. Why? Hey, listen. <sighs> Niggas know now. Niggas know now. They know. And if they don't now, they will very soon. Very soon. But people tried to break you. Tried to destroy you. Because you move and walk with authority. And you was in relationships with people that didn't want to see you do good. And some of y'all still experiencing that, that hurt. And it's okay. But that's why I'm here. They left you with no closure. But that's okay too. Because you don't need closure. Your success will be your closure. Your abundance will be your closure. Your elevation will be your closure. And they're going to come back trying to open that door up. And they're going to get a big boot right up their ass. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. G-Wells with them. Let's go.